Hello, I'm Janine King, the Heritage Development Officer at the Castle Heritage Centre in Bude. We have many objects on display covering prehistory to the 20th century, but my favourite is one that could easily be overlooked. It is a set of keys to the Houses of Parliament. The keys belong to Sir Goldsby Gurney, a prolific Cornish scientist, engineer and inventor who built the castle in 1830. The castle itself was one of his many experiments as it was built on sand a risky idea that paid off as it's still standing today. Gurney's skills at problem solving eventually reached government and in 1854 he was appointed Inspector of Ventilation after successfully applying a technique to ventilate the Houses of Parliament. His famous bude light also lit the House of Commons for 60 years with three lights replacing 280 candles. So successful was his light that it also lit Pall Mall and Trafalgar Square where an example can still be seen today. Gurney was rewarded for his efforts in 1863 when he received a knighthood from Queen Victoria. It is not clear why Gurney was given the keys, although he would have been spending a lot of time at the House of Parliament. They were kept in an envelope marked Keys Belonging to the House of Parliament, which is also on display. I find them fascinating because I wonder if he ever used them. Gurney must have been held in high esteem to have been given the keys in the first place. I wonder whether he was allowed to let himself in, and I also wonder whether they still work today. The keys are on display alongside some of Gurney's other personal effects, including a parliamentary box and a walking cane. To me, these objects reveal more about Gurney as a person. Much has been written about his inventions, but not as much about his private life, some of which was quite colourful, including marrying a 24-year-old farmer's daughter when he was 61. It is said that his daughter, Anna Jane, unsurprisingly didn't like her stepmother at all, and I can imagine she was very horrible to her. Also on display is one of Anna Jane Gurney's childhood toys. She was Goldsworthy's constant companion and remained with him until his death. Anna Jane was fiercely protective of her father's reputation. We also have in the collection a copy of the book The Life of Richard Trevivick, inventor of the locomotive engine, which has Anna Jane's furious handwritten notes, correcting the eye idea that it was not Richard Trevithick's invention that led to Stevenson's rocket, but in fact her father's experiments with the steam-driven carriage. I love the fact that Anna Jane displayed such a strong sense of family loyalty. The castle has an extensive collection of objects, documents and pictures related to Gurney's life and work. Other items on display include the Gurney stove, which was a forerunner of the modern radiator, which was way ahead of its time in its design, we have a permanent exhibition room dedicated to Gurney's inventions, including the steam carriage and the oxy blow pipe. The collection of Sir Goldsworthy and Anna Jane's personal effects are housed in a small room next to the main exhibition. Visitors can also discover more about his lesser known inventions, such as the Gurney Rixton light, which was the first system in Britain to give each lighthouse a unique sequence of flashes, so as to be identified by passing ships a concept that is still used today. But for me, it is the personal objects that we have in the collection which help bring Gurney and Anna Jane to life. They help me to relate to Goals of the Gurney living and working at the castle and imagining it as a family home. Under normal circumstances, the castle is open seven days a week. As well as the Heritage Centre, we also have an art gallery and a fantastic cafe with undoubtedly the best views imbued.